just want to thank you so much for just uh, sticking around or meeting us for communion. Uh, we realize that because of going into the season, COVID is still out there, flu is happening, RSV, uh, that some of you um, just don't see it, uh, see it as prudent uh, to get out and you've been led to stay home. But we still want to give you an opportunity uh, to have communion, uh, to uh, just take in this most uh, holy time with the Lord. Um, before we get into communion, I encourage you right now, if there is anything in your heart that uh, shouldn't be there, if you're holding any odd, uh, we were teaching in 1 John the other day, and, and, and literally, as Christians, we cannot hold unforgiveness in our hearts. It's just It doesn't work, uh, because God has put His love on the inside, and that manifestation of that love is forgiveness. So if there's something that you're holding against somebody, just let it go right now. If you can uh, get to that person, hey, pause this, and, and send them a text, call them up, say, I am sorry, I am sorry, and then come back and, and have communion. Uh, go ahead and get those articles, wherever it is. Um, if you have the communion cups, uh, you're right with us, but maybe you need to uh, get some bread or some juice. Uh, the biggest thing is that we're focusing on abiding in God's Word, what He has told us when it comes to His communion. So at this time, I'm going to ask Bianca to uh, just open us up in prayer, uh, that she'll pray over the bread and juice, and then we're just going to uh, jump in the Scripture, 1 Corinthians 11.23. If you want to get that Bible, we're going to have it uh, as we're going to read it. But if you want to get your Bible and read along with with us, hey, it's right there, but I want you to focus in on who God is, uh, Bianca. Let's pray. Lord, we praise you and thank you so much for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. We thank you for his spilled blood that is represented today through the juice, Lord, and we thank you for his body that was broken for us that is represented today through the bread, Lord. Um, we ask that you would um, forgive us that you would help us to um, be reconciled to our brothers and sisters in Christ so that we don't take this in an unworthy manner. And Lord, again, we just praise you and thank you for the gift of your son. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 23, uh, it starts out very powerful. Paul the Apostle gets a revelation uh, from God about what communion is all about. It says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do proclaim the Lord's death till he come. Uh, this is why we're here today, to think about that death, burial, and resurrection. And we need to understand that we need to purpose in our heart as we're taking this to make sure that we're focused in on who God is. We don't want to take this for granted. The scripture goes on, it says, therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. We don't want to be guilty. We, we want to get it right. And that 1 Corinthians eleven twenty eight. but let a man in examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the Lord's body so we have a discernment of what he has done for us and we want to make sure that uh, we judge ourselves look at this for this reason many are weak and sick among you and many sleep Isn't that heavy scripture goes on in 1st Corinthians eleven thirty one. 31 for if we would judge ourselves we were we would not be judged but when we are judged we're chastened by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world so God is telling us as we take this communion day that we think wholeheartedly on where we are are we abiding in the Lord are we uh, celebrating him and all that he is so if you grab those articles Jesus goes up into that upper room on the Passover and the disciples are there and they think it's just like any other Passover. They don't realize that Christ is getting ready to go to the cross. But in the midst of their uh, celebration and going through, uh, Jesus picks up that bread and he breaks it. And he says, uh, this represents my body that's going to be broken for you. As often as you eat it, do it in remembrance of him. Let us eat together. In like manner, uh, Jesus gets that cup, that goblet, that is usually shared amongst themselves. And um, he lifts it up and he said, this represents my blood that's going to be shared for you. As often as you drink it, 
Let's do it in remembrance of Him. Let us drink together. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Saints, as we continue through our days, our weeks, as we're in this community of so much things that are going on, I want you to know Jesus is real. Yes, I want you to plead the blood of Jesus and all that that means. And as we walk forth, we're going to share the good news that Christ is alive. And guess what? He is coming back again. Well, I want you to be encouraged. And until we meet again, you'd be blessed.